Stocks trying to claw back some of yesterday's steep losses as that hotter than expected CPI now raises the stakes for upcoming inflation data and calls the market's Fed rate cut expectations further into question. Joining me now, Goldman Sachs' chief economist Jan Hatzius here at Post 9. Welcome. It's great to have you. It's good to be here. So we build this as your first reaction here uh, from the CPI. What is it? It was a higher number, but not unexpected. We had been looking for a higher number because of what we've called a January effect, big price increases at the start of the year that aren't fully adjusted for by the seasonal factors. And that's largely what we got. In addition, we also had a bigger increase in owner's equivalent rent, which is as you know, a huge part of the, of the CPI, it's 30 percent of the core, and it is um, a, a series with quite a lot of measurement difficulties, which we think is probably an outlier to the high side. So you moved from March to May, which I think everybody knows at this point in terms of when we get the first rate cut. So yesterday doesn't do anything to change that for you. We have not made any changes. We still think that we get a cut in, in May. There is some risk to it. Um, clearly, the Fed has been pushing back. Chair Powell pushed back very clearly against expectations for March at the last press conference. And on balance, I would say the Fed speak has generally talked about, you know, it, it's not quite time yet. It's been mixed. Um, we heard from Chicago Fed President Goldsby today, who took a, a, a more dovish line, but, but that has been the, the push. For us, the key is really what happens to inflation. And we still think core PCE inflation, which is what they're most focused on, is on its way back to very close to 2% soon. So why should they even cut on that time frame that you have if the economy is so good? Well, because I think with a 2% core inflation rate or something close to 2%, as Chair Powell said, there's just no reason to have a five handle on the federal funds rate. And they've clearly stated that they will want to move away from that. They haven't tied themselves to any particular time frame, but I do think that that's a pretty strong message that they don't think a five and three eighths federal funds rate is appropriate when inflation is basically back to normal. Assuming that it continues to move back to normal, what if it remains a little sticky and the economy, economy remains too hot? That you have you have any fear? around that risk? Well, that's a possibility, of course. There's always uncertainty around the forecast. And if the data come in hotter than expected, then that's a reason to hold off for longer. No question about that. But there was nothing in yesterday's print that I saw that would fundamentally call that into question. Were you surprised the way the market reacted yesterday? I mean, Rosengren today says it was a, it was a big overreaction. There's, there's nothing to lead him to believe that inflation isn't working down towards 2 percent. It's obviously sort of the, the view you have. But what about the market reaction to it? Well, relative to the fundamental information, it was a really big move. Of course, we had seen you know, a pretty big move in the, in the other direction. So that's, of course, often what you, what you end up getting. But I would totally agree with President Rosengren that the fundamental information just shouldn't have been that shocking. Lastly, you know, so it raises the stakes for PPI, and then it would seemingly raise the stakes for PCE. I think it's on the 29th of, of this month. How should we view that? Well, again, I think there is a January effect. We saw it in the CPI. I think we'll see it in the, in the PPI as well, uh, it, and in the, in the PCE index in, in particular. Uh, actually, the PCE index is where we're expecting another fairly sizable print, somewhere 0 0.3, 0 0.4. It's going to depend on the import price numbers and on the PPI. So, you know, we'll see. But I think it's also going to be a bigger sequential print. But at the same time, I think the year-on-year -year rate is going to continue to come down because last year, core PCE was 51 basis points. It's not, I don't think the, this year's core PCE number is going to be close to 51 basis points, which means the year-on-year -year rate is going to come down, and that's going to be important. All right, good context. Jan, I appreciate it very much. Thank you for being here.